Hello everyone, it's PCL here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game F1 2020 and increase FPS on your PC. It is a really quick guide which will surely help you. Just watch this video till the end and follow each and every step very carefully. So just before starting this video, make sure to check out my playlist on F1 2020 in which I have shown how to fix various errors in this game and other content related to F1 2020. Make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. In the first step, we'll be clean booting a PC. So what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts too. So it is really to, really easy to clean boot your PC. And if you don't know how to do so, I've already made a 4-minute guide on how to do so. So just watch this video. I'll provide you the link of this video in the description. Watch this video, clean boot your PC and proceed to the next step. So it is a mandatory step before performing any other step. So now let's proceed to the second step. The second step is again a really important one. In this step what you have to do is just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. And if you are an AMD user, you have to just go to your AMD Catalyst control center instead of NVIDIA control panel. And once you are in there, what you have to do is you have to go to manage 3D settings and go to program settings. And here select a program and select F1 2020 DX12.exe. And make sure that it is running on high performance NVIDIA processor. So what happens is, the game automatically detects your integrated graphic card and keeps on running on your integrated gra graphic card. But we wanted it to run on your high processor, high performance, dedicated NVIDIA processor. So once you've selected it here, now you have to scroll down and in power management mode, you have to select prefer maximum performance. And once you've done it, you will see a significant difference in your PC's performance. So just apply these settings and now let's proceed to the third step. So this step is the most important one as after performing this one, you'll see a significant boost in your gaming performance. In this step, we'll be downloading a Game Booster. A Game Booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's power in running a particular game and the Game Booster I'll recommend you to download is Smart Game Booster. It is a really good Game Booster but the thing is, its advanced setup for the best gaming experience is really complicated. So what I've done is, I've made a separate video of 7 minutes on how to do advanced setup of this Game Booster for best gaming experience. So in this video, first I've shown how to download it and after it, I've shown its setup. And once you are done with the setup and you will run the game with the help of this game booster then you will see a significant difference in your gaming performance. So I will provide you the link of this video in the description. So just use this game booster to run this game and your PC's performance and your gaming performance will surely be increased. Now let's proceed to the next step. So in this step we will change in-game settings. So you have to dive right into your game and now go to game options. So once you are in your game options, you have to go to settings. In settings, go to graphics options and in graphic options, go to video mode. In video mode, scroll down and go to anti-racing and by default, it is on TAA checkerboard. So if you have a low-end PC, you can just turn it off. But if you have a medium-end PC, you can keep it on TAA, just TAA and not checkerboard. And now, once you have done it, you can also turn off anisotropic filtering because it won't affect your graphic by that much but it will surely improve your PC's performance. So once you have done it, confirm these changes, I am discarding it because I don't want to change my video settings. Now go to advanced setup. In advanced setup, scroll down to the lowest settings. Uh, the setting here is asynchronous compute, just turn it off. And once you have turned off asynchronous compute, change the graphics set weather effects to low also. So I have changed it to medium but if you have a low end PC, just keep it on low. So these were the 3 or 4 in-game settings that can affect your game's performance. So once you have done it, you can see a not a significant difference but you will surely see a difference in your game's performance. Now this step will also help you in improving your game's performance. Now what you have to do is just open your game and once you have opened your game, you have to minimize it. So just press Windows plus D key on your keyboard and your game will be minimized and now you have to right click on your taskbar and go to task manager. And in task manager, you have to select your game here. Here it is, here it is notepad only, wait, it, wait for your task manager to load first and here select F1 2020 executable, right click on it and go to its details. And in its details, you have to right click on it again, F1 2020 DX12.exe, right click on it and set its priority from normal to real time and change its priority. Now what your PC will do is, now it will put all of its power in running this game and give it the highest priority. So this is a really effective step too. So once you have done it, now let's proceed to the last step. In the last step, we'll be changing some of your PC settings which will help in improving your PC's overall performance. So what we will do is, first we'll go to File Explorer and right click on this PC and go to its properties. Wait for it to load and here go to Advanced System Settings. In Advanced System Settings, go to Performance and click on Settings. And in Settings, by default it is on let Windows choose what's best for your computer. What you have to do is just adjust it for best performance and apply these settings. And once you've done it, 
it will surely help you in improving your PC's overall performance. And one more thing that you can do is if you are an NVIDIA user, you can watch my video on NVIDIA Control Panel's best settings for best gaming experience. So what, in this video, I've shown you how you can change each and every setting in your NVIDIA Control Panel to get the most out of your graphic card. So watch this video, change all the settings and it will surely again help you in improving your PC's overall gaming performance. So I'll provide you the link of this video in the description and that is it for this video. So these were the settings that helped me, these were all the steps that helped me improving my F1 2020's performance in my PC and it will surely help you too. If you have any doubt write in the comment section, if it worked for you please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.